someone said roast his house. You just bought a house. Yeah. Someone said roast his house. Is there stuff on his house on there? I'm just I'm excited for him to get really fat. West Hollywood home, sweet. He bought a house in West Hollywood. It's a very gay place to buy a three three million. But it is centrally located. Let me see it. Okay, good. Yeah, that's all right. Nice skinny piece of shit. <laughs> uh, Equaterra uh, permeable pavers. <clears throat> uh, shitty ass ugly fucking door that looks like. Uh, uh, Chris Novoselic, no, not Chris Novoselic. Uh, who's the guy? The, James who, Addiction. Yeah, they have Perry Perry Farrell fucking designed the door. Uh, cheap, shitty window in the front. You'll change that though, I'm sure. Uh, nice fucking cabana to your front yard where you can stare at the top of your car that's in your driveway. Um, your house is 12 feet wide. That's nice. <clears throat> if you were in that room, you'd look humongous. It's a restoration hardware shelf, restoration hardware table. It's all stage furniture. Uh, fucking rad ass carpet that they picked out, but it's all fake furniture anyway. So. There's skinny room. Okay. okay, guys, we got this 16 feet of the house. <laughs> White waterfall Carrera. Ikea cabinets. Backyard. It's a fancy microwave, probably. He got the good microwave? Uh, Yeah, a mi microwave. Uh, yeah. Well, yes. it came with it, so it was the, last, the last tenants had a good taste in yeah. microwaves. Uh, the last uh, <laughs> fucking 90, Beverly Hills 90210 reject that lived there. No. Uh, Ikea cabinets around the TV. Nice hotel look. That can't be, that, that fucking furniture can't be staged. If they staged a poorly made bed, that's fucking, <laughs> the fucking photo editor should fucking just cut them, fucking cut their thighs. <laughs> I hope the photo editor is at Hot Topic right now being a goth girl. <laughs> I wish I could make a better, I wish I could make a better bed <laughs> for clip art. I wish I could make a better clip art bed for my mom who's a realtor in West Hollywood. <laughs> nice. Tile bathroom. Hotel. Oh, they got a weird egg tub. It's I got gotcha. strange. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Water get everywhere. Yeah, it looks like a like a fucking Saudi build. It's just like a like a weird flip house. Mm. As you can tell, because like the the decking on the front are from like the original. Like the pool's concrete. The deck is original. The front like Spanish terracotta style was never updated. So they just like kind of updated the finishes on the inside. There's a nice pool. Uh, nice. It's probably one of those side streets back there where bums fuck each other in the alleyway and then come over the bushes in the morning and fucking fucking kill your dog and try to shoot you <laughs> you have fucking captain phillips sitting in your living room when you wake up <laughs> i just need some food <laughs> you, you'll go and make me some food i'm the captain now <laughs> it's hot tub the pool sold them um the house sucks that pool looks pretty that pool bad, sucks. Man. The house sucks. I don't care what you say. You to call me a fucking asshole. Call me out for the house fucking blows. It's low quality. The brick is low quality. The stucco finish is no old. They they painted it brown, which tells me it's old. That's from like 1994. I know all the, there's probably a neighborhood association that doesn't allow you to paint that a different color. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's fucking ugly and it's 3 million. So it's 18,000 a month. I'm glad that people are fucking, uh, and yes, you're right. You do have a nicer house than, uh, your house is nicer than me, but you do have more money than me. So mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. I am a fucking hater. Anyway. <laughs> I hope for God's sake, uh, uh, maybe some something crazy hides in that alleyway. But, yeah, I got no, you know, I got no beef with you. My beef's with the house. <laughs> <laughs> My beef is with the guy who flipped your house. <laughs> is that a nano wall? Can you go back to the living room inside, looking outside? Uh, right there. Oh, they did put a nano wall in. What it, is a nano wall? Oh, uh, folding, a, like a folding hideaway door wall thing. Those are 10 grand, mm. 20 grand for a good one. Mm. I can buy one for 10 grand. That was 30 grand. Mm. This guy I know has got one. Mm. I wanted to put one. It's 30 feet long. What it's is, like an accordion door. Of glass accordion panel. door that goes like in. The, see them? See okay, the black? Okay. So those will both either push in. They open all the way. They'll fold and then they'll fold again or they'll like accordion. Sometimes mm -hmm. they scissor. They're really nice. That's probably like an Amazon one based on the rest of the finishes. But imagine spending two and a half million dollars on that shit. Yeah. I showed you guys what you can get for a million eight. Mm -hmm. You live in that in West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And you showed us the twenty-five million dollar Newport Mansion. Showed that one. Do we have any houses to look at? Um, People we, crave it. Oh, I found the most expensive house in the world in Rhode Island. Okay. This is the most expensive house per square foot in Rhode Island. This okay. is fucking incredible. This one we're about to look at. Yeah. Okay. So this is a <laughs> Janet Drive. Janet Drive, because that's. Yeah, I'll tell you how a street gets called Janet. The contractor loves every one of his daughters equally. This one's Jennifer Drive, this one's Kimberly Drive, and then this one's Janet Drive. Is that true? Yeah, that's how those. That's how they do it. They named them after all my daughters, all my sisters, all my nephew, my granddaughter. So this house is a raised ranch mm -hmm. that was, someone just kept spending, spending and spending and spending and spending to have a photogenic house 
where none of it really makes sense, mm -hmm. but they didn't care. This is like my style. This is how I would. This is literally how I would build the house. No, you wouldn't. Okay. I don't think you'd do this. And and they sh okay. So this is the first. This is always a bad sign. If the first picture of the house isn't the summary, mm -hmm. and it's like the highlight, that's that's a nice picture of an ugly girl. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. That's fooling you. That's, that's some catfishing stuff. Or the view. What? The first, the picture they lead off with is the view. Is the view? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like that's that's suspect. Stunning mountain view. Yeah, where's the show me? Yeah, you better be like show me the mountain. Get on the mountain and show me the house. Mm -hmm. Or just show me the fucking house first, okay? <laughs> but to show me an astro, to, uh, like a just a a, a fake tur a synthetic turf, putting green, whatever. Those are three grand to do that. They put an outdoor kitchen in. It looks like they made it out of like. They tiled it, so they made it with a cement board, two by fours, two by fours, cement board, and then they they did they're like an aesthetics person. That's a fucking monstrosity right there. That's a fucking nightmare. That looks like it was set up for an event. They're wedding photographers. I had to look the girl up. Sorry. This sh this shit, like that's see, an insane thing to have permanently. Yeah. The, like mm -hmm. gate. They did this for, exactly for wedding, like for wedding photography, for photography purposes. That's like a thing you build the frame out of pressure treated two by fours. You build the 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 block and then you cover it with um, cement board and then you tile it like it's a fucking interior thing. That thing, like right now, it looks like shit. Like snow will crack it and heave it. Like tile doesn't have an elasticity for temperature. Like that shit's fucked. Mm. Like that thing's beat to hell right now. Mm -hmm. But sure, it's out of backdrop of a pool. They put a big giant fucking Portuguese stamped concrete patio out there. Mm -hmm. Those are cheap fucking one dollar pavers from. Um, well, this looks nice. Yeah, that's a little mess up. That's just a little problem. Instead of running the stone, we're gonna go with a railroad tie buried in the ground, and we're gonna leave a half an inch for drainage, where the drain definitely is not. Okay, good, because the drain is not there. <laughs> All right, I, and it looks like the water's gonna collect there. Is there anything to do about? It? It's like no. <laughs> We're going to walk over here, though. <laughs> no, no. What we're going to do about that is, come here, here Sam. We're going to walk all over here. <laughs> we're going to not look at that kind of stuff. Because, like, if a girl had, like, a mangled hand, would you stare at it? <laughs> okay, then don't look at that little drainage issue on my walkway that I bought, that I made out of Unilock papers. And this, this is the house that Home Depot made a lot of money on. Mm -hmm. This is where Arthur Blank should rim these people. <laughs> He'd be like, Mr. and Mrs. DeFazio, you have a rim job from Mr. Arthur Blank. <laughs> Hello. I just want to thank you guys for your liner pool. Um, oh, oh, they put a fountain there, a nice fountain to drip into their rectangle. Oh, don't tell me they did it. They did, the, did they do the ultimate sin, the no low-end pool? Mm. No, the no deep-end pool? Mm. No deep-end. The whole thing is um, hip height. Yeah. It's like a big toilet. <laughs> It, I I know someone who did this. It makes me sad. <laughs> like they play volleyball in it. Yeah. Like so, like one of your daughter's friends is gonna dive in and be in a fucking wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's gonna be sad. Don't please don't do it. the Home Depot Arbor that they bought on Home Depot.com, the Wayfair.com patio, the like the, all the fancy stuff. The nice the four lounge chairs, good for you. They really dressed up the shed with a. They put a fucking sliding glass door and a and a, a peekaboo window on a uh, on a shed. They must Airbnb. I hope they Airbnb that out. That would make me come. <laughs> they put a weather vane on top of a shed. Yeah. That's like six hundred fifty bucks. That's the shit. K kill me. <laughs> Fucking slaughter my family. <laughs> put my whole family in a blender if they show me this house. Literally, like hey, dad, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> Sixty Janet Drive. <laughs> uh, liner pools. If you really want to be a Say you fucking, no one in my family is going to have a liner pool. Mm -hmm. And for those of you guys who think I was a rich kid, I grew, I'm, I was poor. Mm -hmm. I grew up poor. <clears throat> we don't have liner pools in my family. <laughs> but like a gunite pool only or like mm -hmm. Pebble Tech is the new way to do it. But that's mm -hmm. a liner pool. Good for you. Uh, nice 60s. Con I like the performance. A of liner pool is just the inside of it is like the same. It's like those, it's plastic. No, no, that's just, it's a line. It's a rubber liner. Yeah. It just feels terrible. It's like the cheapest it's possible a, it, thing. It's an in-ground pool, so you're still above board, but it's the cheapest way to do an in-ground pool yeah. is, a, is a liner pool. They're about, they used to be like 15 grand. Mm -hmm. You could get like a guy to come in, dig you a hole, put the aluminum thing and put the siding in and just like kind of backfill mm -hmm. you. And then to get you that. I grew up with like basically that pool. My dad put one in. Mm -hmm. Now, a fucking in-ground pool is like, those are like 25 grand just for the pool and the apron's like another like 12 to 
fucking 100,000. I'm not crazy you go. But a gunite pool, which is an, an all cement formed one. Mm-hmm. So like that is uh, an aluminum. You dig a hole. You put an aluminum, like a, ri- a shape of a pool in, in the ground where the hole's excavated wider than the backfill. Mm-hmm. You drop a thing. And then they smooth it all out with sand and you know, pool sand. And they make the shape of the pool. And they drop a liner in and they clip the liner and they make you a pool and they fill it up. That's how a liner pool is done. Mm-hmm. They put those plastic stairs, <clears throat> you know, the cheap shit. Mm-hmm. You could, they're okay. They make liners now that are cool. I did finally find like an all black liner that looks respectable that I would because I can't afford a gunite pool. Um, and then a gunite pool is formed out of rebar, no mm-hmm. sides. Mm-hmm. And they fucking, you know, you ever see like the inside of a bridge? Mm-hmm. Or like a highway when they pour, like all those metal and then they pour the cement around it? Mm-hmm. It's all that. Yeah. And then they fucking smooth the, fin- the finish on it. Mm-hmm. And you can get like, like Jake did a black one. Mm-hmm. Back when they were cheap, you can get them for like, he had a friend, so he got one for like thirty three thousand. Mm-hmm. But they're like forty to eighty, forty to one hundred and fifty, mm-hmm. depending on how crazy you go. And then the final finish, the fancy one, is like a a styrofoamy glow in the dark pebble that's mixed with an epoxy resin. It's, it mixed with a big giant tub of like old school horse glue looking shit mm-hmm. and pebbles, and you smooth it on. Mm-hmm. That's the fanciest way you can make it self cleaning. Where as a big drain. It, Self cleaning and the new way, the new fancy thing is the fanciest way is a uh, the new hard covers. So instead of doing a fence around your pool because you're supposed to have a fence in it, kind of looks ugly. They have these hard covers for 15, uh, 20 grand that just come over and you can drive a car. Well, you can walk on them. Mm. And the po- the pool you can't do in a regular shape like that one you could do. But yeah, Pebble Tech's fucking fancy as shit. And supposedly there's a shortage of one of the glow in the dark stones and you can't get it and everybody wants it. Every like Guido in Rhode Island wants it. Mm-hmm. Like you gotta get me the uh, oh. Caribbean blue. That's the color of the water. That's the color of the stone. Isn't that cool? Mm. I like sandy beach. Now, are there chemicals in this that leach uh, BPA into the water? Maybe. Perhaps. <clears throat> you know, Sammy, that's a very good question, and I will follow up on that with you. However, for now, let's just concentrate on your pick, your selection. Which one would you pick? I'd go with one of the whiter ones. The salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. I like that. I like yeah. the, and you like the look of the that's water? That's nice. Yeah, I like that. It's funny how midnight blue makes the water look dingy. Yeah. I like sand. Mm-hmm. That's really good stuff. Um, I like the brighter colors. I like when the water looks crystal clear, like the coast of Italy, mm-hmm. like a Malfi coast. Mm-hmm. I could have a nice, and then, you know, you have all the um, Irish guys in there, uh, smoothed it all out. But they, they, they self-clean now, and they have new covers. Anyway, so they, they opted with the liner pool and the Home Depot gazebo. Mm-hmm. Now, wait till you see this house. Like, wait till we really dive in here. Oh, wow. Like, so you got the deck here with the wire railing. This is this every day here would be an event. Is that a rebar? Is that a custom made wire railing made out of like a half inch rebar? It looks nah. like a steel wire, right? Uh, that's that's what they tried to do. Instead, they went with black pipe. Oh man, they won't, That's probably an expensive fence rail, though. That's probably like they paid big money for that. They got a jacuzzi because they swing. Wow. Fuck my wife. <laughs> the, oh, look at, see, they got the dead on shot. Look at this. What the fuck is that thing? What's that? Oh, is that a friolator? Oh my goodness! For wings, wow, that's sick. That's it's it's so fat. <laughs> Joey like loves this house. He's like, yo, this place is so fat. I love this place. I like the white wall with it. like. Look at it. Look, it looks like fucking stuff. It looks like a like a entourage. The movie, the backyard. It's like a resort in Cranston. Wow, that's what they said. Hard with this <clears> fucking <throat> price. Wait till you see the fucking price on this bad boy. Um, look at the fucking house, bro. It's a raised <laughs> ranch. Can you believe that? Wow. So they did a boxwood hedge. So a lot of people, this is a real fun thing that happens in Rhode Island. They can't understand how a boxwood hedge works. So those little those little green balls are a, uh, an attempt at a hedge line. Mm-hmm. of uh, Like those are called like green emerald boxwoods, the ones you see the guys pruning nice and tight. And Rhode Islanders don't have the patience to let them grow into each other. So every year they just keep balling them up. Mm-hmm. They don't mean to make them into balls. They wanted the hedge line. Mm-hmm. but they don't know how to do it. Mm-hmm. So they do that over and over and over again. Oh, man. So if you look at our hedges in Rhode Island, we, we all, because like Guatemalan dudes come over here and they don't, like, they just like trim the bush. Yeah. So they just, I'm like, you know, guys don't know how to like let them grow. You know, no one told them. Mm-hmm. And they do that instead. Yeah. That's really funny. And they do a fountain and a, uh, a dry river out of like two, four river stone. Like three weeping spruces, Jesus Christ! Those are three hundred. Those are like five, six hundred dollars a piece. Those trees, those like weeping uh, Grinch trees. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, that's an expensive thing. Cool. 
Oh, God, nice cherry wood color cabinets. We're going to go with a different color on the island. That was a fun thing people said for 10 years. We got uh, popcorn swirl ceilings. We did open, ca open no no uppers on this side. We're just going to do the plates. So we got really nice plates. You got a pot filler above so you can fill your pasta bowl so you can bend your spaghetti around your fork. That's fun. <laughs> you did the uh, the side panel. We did a waterfall Carrera. I can I can get in line with that. Um, nice kitchen that every nice simple L layout that you can get designed at Home Depot in in eleven minutes. Nice. You did the tile backsplash. It was professionally installed. You can tell a professional tile installation because there's an aluminum stopper right there at the corner. Uh, That's how you tell a good tile job. Uh, uh huh. Um, it's actually nice. I actually have the same stools in my fucking kitchen. I got the nice ones all. Oh, I, oh, you did a raised raised uh, paneling. You know, your your stools are much nicer than that. No, yeah, you can tell those are cheap. Yeah, those are the Wayfair ones. This girl's a hairdresser or something. Oh, she's a wedding photographer. We already figured this out. Nice things. <coughs> uh, double under fridge. Uh, pendant lights on the island. Nice resto hardware couch. Let's see what else we got. We can keep cruising. Nice fucking Christmas. <laughs> Anna Marie! <laughs> Why are you breaking my balls? Oh, come on, Anna Marie. I'm just trying to relax. I want to watch fucking broke, two broke girls. Look at those fucking curtains. Jesus Christ. Someone's mom came over and bought them curtains. I like that. I kind of like when that women were obsessed with drapes for a while. It kind of was a cool thing. Hey, they did a good job staging. The house is clean. You know, it smells like a nice fucking Yankee candle in there. You'd love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice narrow bathroom. Step in tub. No big deal. It is what it is. It's okay. It's clean. Ooh, a nice downstairs Guido <clears throat> living room with a, ooh, an electric fireplace. That doesn't look that bad. Is that electric? Uh, I don't like electric. Fire. No, yeah, it doesn't. It, that's that's when you walk in. Those are so a raised rent. You can go upstairs. You can go downstairs as if you went downstairs. Mm. So this is where the downstairs hangout session is probably where there's probably a, a, around that corner. If we go to it, we cruise onto it. I'll bet you there's a another man cave. Oh, toilet. Nice, pl nice plant. To go back up there. This sort of plant decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we love plants. I can't go in there. With, I have to buy plants. She's just a girly girl. And I, all of this doesn't seem... This is actually like... She she did a good... She did everything that Home Depot told her to do. She's like a fucking... Mm. She's a fan. Mm. You know? She's watching fucking Two Broke Girls. She's watching Big Bang Theory. VW Touareg. Or whatever the lower model is. Yeah, the... <clears throat> Google Gog. What, what the fuck is Rutan? that? Rutan? No, that's Rutan, the van. That's the van. van. I've sold them. Touareg. No. Is Touareg the low one? No. Can you look up VW SUV? Oh, what there the might, fuck? There might not be one. No, might... there is. There is. I've sold one. Taos? Tiguan. Tiguan. There we yeah. go. Tiguan. Chris wants this. Chris wants an Atlas? Oh, no. It's the worst in the bunch. It's the lowest one. Can't get one. Can't get it. Won't allow it. I won't allow it. We've already got one mistake. I can't handle it. Nice. Yeah. We slammed it. <clears> we, bought, we bought all the bathroom shit. Oh, I just went to the fall room. I bought an old school tub, and I spray painted the feet chrome. Nice. Got the old school plumbing. Good for you. We've got friends in the business, a nice expensive blind. Nice, because that's on the floor level, so when people are out in the pool, they can see you taking a big shit. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's going to happen. Nice bathroom, good job. Probably spent fucking 26000 on a Home Depot credit card. Good for you. And then we have the ultimate fucking golf man cave in the garage. Mm -hmm. We don't have, the garage is not for cars. The garage is for golf. There's not enough golf in this house until we saw this. Now you know. Now we know what goes on in a man's mind. Nice stools. What the fuck? That looks like a... A it's like steampunk a, cyborg stool. It's kind of like, like you know, like rugged. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! What's they look that? stable too. Yeah, you can sit up there and drink your life away <clears> while your wife just racks the Home Depot card for another thirty-eight thousand. Mm. So now nothing's really wrong with the house, other than the fact that it's a raised ranch for seven hundred and seventy-five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Now that is out. Outrageous. Now, the fucked up part about a raised ranch, a little inside a real estate tip, is you can't count the below grade living space for living space. That living room you saw in the basement in the in the bedroom mm. can't be counted to the overall square footage. So, this technical square footage of this house is uh, 2,380 mm -hmm. square feet, whatever double 1190 is. Mm -hmm. So, and it's a half acre lot, and that's how they're getting to it. So, they do. They're saying it's three hundred fifty dollars, uh, three hundred seventy-five dollars a foot. But six hundred fifty-two dollars a foot is is the highest price per square foot for a house under a million dollars in Providence, mm -hmm. in the in the Providence County. Mm -hmm. Like that house is okay. So the Zillow on it is four forty. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the tax assessor. So you should be buying a house for like 20% above tax assessment if you want to value buy. Mm. This is double-ish, double tax assessment-ish. Mm. That's a whopper of a house. And he, and they got a red flag on this one. And they got a whopper of a description here. They got a Sherwood Estates, whatever. It's in like fucking Guidoville, fucking Cranston, which is like every every 60-year-old that wants to, every 30-year-old getting you that wants to be their dad. Mm-hmm. That's just like, hey, Grandpa, how are you, Grandpa? Not too bad, sonny boy. You doing good at the job I got you? Subject to, <laughs> subject to sellers finding suitable housing of their choice. How much of a cocky fucking asshole do you have to put a ridiculous price on your house and then say, and this sale is subject to me finding another house? Wow. Meaning you're going to have to write a clause in it where you buy the house from me for the top dollar and then you let me live in it for six months when we'll, we'll work it out. Wow. Yeah, go fucking sh- fuck yourself, dude. Wow. Just to bust their balls, be like, I want you out immediately. I'll buy it right now, full cash off for your price. Wow. But I need you to get your fucking ugly ass golf clubs out of my fucking garage. I'm going to put a fucking, I'm going to run a landscaping company out of the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put fucking 250 yards of loom in the backyard. And gonna, <laughs> I need a place to put my bobcats and my construction equipment immediately. <laughs> and you just take it there and you like bust up all their fucking, like, Excavator arm, you're just like, <laughs> just like busting that grill up. Like, yeah. just like, it's my house now, get out! <laughs> yeah, I know what you said. I you, you got the money. Get the fuck out! <laughs> but you're fucking in the pool <laughs> with an excavator, like busting the shed from inside the pool, uh-huh. like pulling it in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> You're pulling the arbor in, the fucking, the, but you're pulling that thing down, just like immediately just <laughs> using the pool as a trash can. Yeah, yeah, just like sweeping everything in it, like the turf's coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, no, no. So many Home Depot trips. Was it the one trip, the two trip, or the 40 trip to Home Depot? That was a, a Home Depot joke. Mm-hmm. How many trips to Home Depot are you going to be on this trip? Arthur Blank is probably just dusting off his mouth. Mm-hmm. After those two people sat on his face as a con- as a prize for spending so much money there. Yeah. That's, That's cool. so funny, man. So they did. <laughs> they were really drinking the punch there. So I hope um, I hope that's enough to kind of sway people away. Because there's like four things that you can, you know, when I say I always tell people, like, if you develop an eye or whatever, like, there's just like red flags all over the thing. Like, your mm-hmm. price per square foot should be one. Your day's on the market. Your price, obviously, the look of it, you know, the aesthetic. And then, like, if it's a nice, clean house and it's for sale, like, why Why isn't it? Like, it, if it was really good, you'd be fighting for it. Mm-hmm. You'd be, like, going to war over it. Mm-hmm. Fucking unbelievable, though. I did look at one for myself to buy. You wanna for look, you. You want to pull that up? Sure. I'll send you. I got a pistol right here. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, um, it's, it's Gay Street. <laughs> it is on Gay Street. Uh, this house, it went pending immediately. Uh. I called you on this, too. Oh, yeah. I went to go look at it for myself. <clears throat> mm-hmm. This is the house. So it's built by the same builder that the other one that I like for a million eight was. This house was a million one. Mm. And I think you're never going to get your shot at one of these because, um, and, and I, the reason why I like this is uh, for my for myself. <coughs> um, they dropped the price 400 grand. So it was a bank clearance. <coughs> um, the house was built in 99. Mm-hmm. So, or 97. So it's not old and it was, re- you could just tell it's really well built. But, um, you're never going to be able to see one that's like this rough of shape this soon. Mm. You know, it's pretty special circumstances where someone like fouled. Like rich people don't fuck up. Mm-hmm. Generally in real estate, the nice shit stays with rich people. Mm-hmm. This one fell through the cracks. Mm-hmm. And it's really rare. I, I, I got fucking all hot in my stomach on this one. I, I drove to it immediately. Damn. Like I saw the listing and I was like, oh, oh. And even my wife was like, even my wife was like, Come on, honey. You know we're not going to buy out of the house. And I was like, baby, come on. We can play hide and seek in this one. Yeah. She's like, I have something. <laughs> I have something I want you to find. So this <clears throat> views, 22-acre field. This is a rich person house that fell into disrepair. So it must have been like a, a bad dad that didn't something have Something happened here. Something happened. Um, 22-acre field. You can see to New Hampshire from Connecticut. You can see over Massachusetts. That's how high it is. Three-car garage. With a uh, like a live space above it, that's the back. So I parked my car over there. I just sent Joe the video. Uh, I'm gonna. It's gutted. That's water. <clears throat> so there's a leak in that tower. This house needs 
$350,000 of raw cash. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have a million and a half dollar house. Mm -hmm. So you'd be into this thing for like eight, 900 grand. Mm -hmm. um, and you'd have a, about 700 grand of equity, really hot hold. Like it's a hot potato of a hold, meaning it's a million and a half now, but if shit goes to <coughs> fucking shit, it's under a million bucks. Mm -hmm. So you do still own it right, but you're going to do some fucking work. Mm -hmm. That's a kitchen cabinet that they left there that they suspended with some baker's racks in case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. um, the floor is buckling, which is not good. Oh, I didn't know it was that close. I don't like that. That stone fireplace is fucking awesome. Mm. It's all pieces of stone, like fit by like a master. Mm -hmm. Like that seat in front of it is fucking, I didn't know it was that close though. I don't like that. That room's smaller than I thought, but I have a walk around for it. That's a HVAC vent in the floor. It's got all. It has all brand new fucking central air. Not good kinds though. It kind of like bothered me. It had Goodwin, or Goodwin, not good brand of uh, HVAC compressors. Mm -hmm. um, don't like those poles. But that's big old fucking fancy. You know, yuppie Connecticut money mm. living room. You'd have to do. They painted it white with a spray gun, mm -hmm. so they were. It looks like someone like ran out of money. They that's, went to go flip it and ran out of money. That's insane. Yeah. But you got to, I mean, you got this fucking nightmare bathroom with that purple sink. Like, what Indian person was in there? Like, just fucking picking shit out. Like, spice of color. <laughs> it looks, it's like a bowl, like a plastic <laughs> yeah, it looks popcorn like a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, vessel sinks are already out. And, like, that, they call that a vessel sink when it's on top. And, yeah, it's purple. Like, you picked purple. Fucking, you should be beat, like, fucking, uh, like, Joe Pesci and his brother in the cornfield <laughs> if you pick that out. <laughs> like, if you pick that out. Like five Italian guys should come and drag you and your wife into a cornfield and beat you alive. Mm. Don't throw them in there. He's still breeding. Guy, you piece of shit. <laughs> Watching your wife get beat with a baseball bat while they're holding your chin oh <laughs> because God. you picked out the sink. Only after you buy it, though. Mm. So that thing definitely has a, there's probably like a leak. That's what there is. There's a leak in that somewhere. Mm. That's like the atrium. A big Dutch colonial. I think that, or a custom Dutch colonial. I mean, it's nice. A lot of little rooms that are kind of like, eh, but like this house has a whole bunch of shit in it that's so fat. Like they had a diamond plate bulkhead to go downstairs. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, and yeah, that's the master bedroom where you're overlooking a 22 acre field. My only beef with this thing, it was in a plat at the top of a mountain. So it was like a main road at the top, <coughs> like the ridge of a mountain and then like a right and then a circle. And I don't know if you've ever been like a really yuppie plat where all the driveways start in a weird way off a circle. So you have like a circle and then the houses are like off the vista. But in order to do that, you kind of have to like make the driveways run alongside each other for kind of a long time. So yeah. like you see your neighbor's house too much. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. Like I don't like neighbors. This neighbor was like right there. And the other people that lived on the side of it were people that looked like they were trying to be rich, mm -hmm. which is not good because that means like they have like nine people living in the house mm. because like... I can I can buy a nicer house if I have my mother-in-law live with me and pay me five hundred dollars a month rent. Mm -hmm. And you're like, cool. There's fucking eighty people like eating, breathing, and shitting on the side of me. Yeah, just totally unfinished basement with a big sewer pipe. Uh, this house is fat. Mm -hmm. This house is it, if you painted it and fixed it. But you would just no. Well, well, we got hole. We got mold. Yeah, we, we got, got some mold. Here. We got a, oh, that's a leak from the bulkhead. We got a mold. We got mold. Fuck. <clears throat> disqualified. Oh, we got a. Why did they rip the glass? <clears throat> uh, that's the garage. Is the garage? Very nice outside, very tough inside though. And you, but you would have an opportunity to refinish it because basically you're gonna do this to every house anyway. But when you're playing the finishes game, I don't know if you ever bought it. I don't know if you guys out there ever bought a diamond ring for your your old lady. Mm -mm. That is a game you are just gonna lose. Mm. Like you can't buy a diamond big enough. Mm -hmm. Like no matter what, mm -hmm. you could be a rich guy, and if you bought your girl a diamond, you're just you're looking at someone else's dick that's bigger than yours. Mm. That's what buying diamonds is like. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, because you get a price for like a carrot and a half diamond and it's like fucking 10, 12 grand. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, oh, I'll go to the mobsters. I'll get a mobster diamond. They're like, oh, okay, it's 8,000 in cash and it's like kind of fucking muddy. And then you go to like, oh, I'll get like a five carat diamond, like a raw, loose five carat diamond for like 60 grand or something. And then you're like, wow, I, my, my wife has a ring pop. And then you'll meet someone that's like, hey, <laughs> hey, what's up, little cock? <laughs> hey, it's little cock. <laughs> oh, I meant your wife. It's like when you have like like big. Some girls think like diamonds is like a dick. Mm. It's like cars. Mm. And like uh, and if you see a nice big diamond out there, fucking rock that woman. Mm. Turn the fucking side of the head and steal that thing. <laughs> that thing's worth a lot of money, <laughs> and she's gonna get a big fat insurance check for it anyway. Mm. You almost should. I would do it. 
<laughs> yeah. I thought about f***ing a woman one time in the head. Over. I started diving so big, I was like, just fucking hit her. Did you actually? Think no, that? I thought about it. Oh, yeah, I did. It was so big, I was just like, fucking hit her. <laughs> It was like it was like a million dollar diamond. I was like, no one would know. I could just fucking rock this lady right up. Just put her in a fucking rear naked choke. She's like, give me the fucking ring or I'll snap your fucking neck. Damn. She's like, ah! And you just pull it. Like, fuck her in the back. Damn. You're a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, you're a millionaire. Because like, if you notice it. Yeah. I mean, you see him. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'm pretty sure they have insurance on too, so. Can we talk about stealing? Yeah. Can we well, talk about the... the yeah. That was a funny story. I don't know if you if you want to tell that or not. Which one? You Oh. No. Not that one. Is there any is there any funny story stealing story we can tell? <laughs> hey! It's my old house. Oh shit. I remember this place. Yeah. Did you sell it? Yeah, we sold this. Did you make Bought any this. money? Yeah, I made a I made uh, one hundred thirty thousand dollars on this one here. This was a, a smashing success, mm. a two-year own in and out. I bought for. Uh, I saw it when I lived in Los Angeles, moving back. Uh, I was pre-approved for a lot, but we said let's go home and buy a cheaper house. Mm -hmm. And we basically circled from Worcester to Mystic, Connecticut, because mm -hmm. with with any luck, me and Kevin Bacon could be getting to buy a priest mm -hmm. at the Mystic Pizza, yeah, that'd be Mystic great. River. Mm -hmm. Um. And basically, this was the cheapest they had. I don't know, for like three ninety nine, and then like three forty nine, and then two ninety nine, which is always nice when you watch a large back down, mm -hmm. which means they just want the cash. Yeah. When you when it's just a weird house and people who look at it can't get it, that's that's what I like. Right. Uh, that's always funny on Zillow to see people drop their price twenty percent. Those are people who who a real a re realtor didn't price it to sell it. He wanted to play a game with people mm -hmm. with people's. People don't care about the house. This is like a dead person's house. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's sitting there. They rented it out. It sucked. It had like all 1960s glass. It was an earth home. But these are like, these people that I bought it from are like pieces of shit mm -hmm. that like inherited a whole like street of houses. Mm -hmm. They had like this, another piece of land, another piece. So uh, I called them up and I offered them 190 for it in 2014. Mm -hmm. And they said, no, but I'll make it. You were going to make a deal on it. I said, okay, 200. And they said, 205. And I said, and then they're like, I ended up paying like 212 or something. God damn. Yeah, it was a good deal. Um, moved home. <laughs> it was good. Uh, moved home. Painted the whole thing white um, myself, like with, with Jess. And uh, if you, the yard was on a slant. Mm -hmm. um, the whole earth, everything's uh, made of concrete. It's a big wire basket. Mm -hmm. uh, not radiant, but the it's at like the top of a hill in the back of a bad neighborhood. This, this, this area sucks cock. Mm -hmm. Like you'd go to the Cumberland. I, it's basically like two miles behind a Cumberland Farms in a neighborhood, mm -hmm. which is not good. And, like, you'd go to the Cumberland Farms and it'd be, like, Slipknot pajama, Slipknot T-shirts and Bruins pajamas, like, screaming at each other over roller food. Mm -hmm. um, so we brought this. It was, like, a wood wall, and we just painted it all black. I did that this myself. is after you did it. Yeah, this is my shit. Yeah, this, That's, the I interior own. looks really great. It was, hey, it, it's a I cool thought it was, house. I thought it was a cool house. You remember going there, right? Yeah, I thought, yeah, it, was, yeah, I thought yeah. it was a real cool house. It was a cool house. It had a sunken living room. Um... It was cheap, which is good. The wood, I just painted a black um, sunken living room. Mm -hmm. Walked down with that, that uh, German stove over there that goes up to the chimney. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I redid the cushions. And you made 130 on a $200,000 house? Yeah. God damn. That's a good one. Um, <clears throat> so, actually, I made a little more than that. Um, it, it was like a 2,200 square foot house. It was just underpriced and it was weird. And it was perfect. I had the fucking blueprints with that's a Gaggenau uh, work, uh, cooktop. Mm -hmm. Which is like four grand. Um, it was nice. It was just, I had those lights were originally drawn into the fucking thing. It was kind of cool. Yeah, jealousy windows, but the the glass was. Here's the thing about this thing. It had a rubber roof on it. Not a rubber. A two part Tar. epoxy roof that only one guy knew how to do. I'm just a fucking hard, and I believe this guy. Mm -hmm. I was really green when I came back from LA. I like forgot everything. Yeah, this was like my first project. I was basically two months doing things like a fucking. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know how to cut trees down. Like I, I would, I forgot everything. Yeah, and I had like hit. A, I was rusty. You had ring rust. Yeah, I did have ring rust. Mm -hmm. I really did. I was like, uh, 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 like, it took me like two months to buy a blower. Like, I don't know. How do you own six of something? It'd be like if you wanted to go make videos in like three years from now, and you like didn't know how to use a camera. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh wait, wait, the f stop. You I didn't know I what. I literally don't know how to use a camera. Yeah. Yeah. But, right. No, I. I but it, it's not enough. You're going to have some ring rust on me when we get back into it here. Yep, 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 yep. Um, but those windows are single pane. 
glass. That makes you wicked nervous. One day I got wicked high and I had like a panic attack about replace. You can't like replace it with shitty glass. It's like thick tempered glass from 1960. Mm -hmm. I'd have to get like the double glass cased. But if you look at this line of the roof, mm -hmm. I'm like, that would be like 60 grand. Mm -hmm. And I remember flipping this with like 32,000 bucks in my pocket mm -hmm. from the show actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. I uh, ended up selling those chairs, sold the table years later, sold that Asari rug to, uh, I forget, someone bought that. That was an old Asari. That was my first rug I ever bought. That was expensive. Um, yeah, a little outdoor porch over here with some, I sold that, I sold that last week, that fucking uh, Haywood Wakefield bamboo rattan set. I sold it for, I bought it for $10 six years ago, used it in the Airbnb, and then uh, <laughs> sold it for $10 six years later at an auction. It's kind of fun. Um, this was a room we used to smoke weed in, so it was mm -hmm. all screened in here. But it was mm -hmm. underneath the eave of, and the water sort of ran over off those channels into mm. like ugly rock. It was cool, but I had like it was it was a good idea. Yeah. Um, we split the bedrooms up. We put that little wall up to make two, so we could get more Airbnb stays. If you're doing Airbnb, the more beds, the better. Just so you know. Mm. Um, sold that Ford Beckman painting above the bed for six grand. Mm. Yeah, I bought it for four hundred bucks today. I moved back. Painted the, oh, I did this bathroom myself. This is a good bathroom. That's really cool. That's crazy. I did a waterfall uh, marble, yeah. like an ABC fancy marble. I built the cabinet, the black one with Howard, double sink. Mm -hmm. And then the wall was, uh, I replaced it all. I scribe cut all the boards, and that's one by eight uh, <laughs> walnut, mm. one by eight oak. And then I did the black, matte black hex tile when, before it was fucking played out like a motherfucker. Mm. I rented it out, dude. One time there was fucking condoms and blunts in there. Great. They shot a music video there once. It was fucking great. I wanted to kill everybody. Nice. Yeah. A little gay wallpaper. That's the second bedroom. So those are, the, those are like the guest beds. Shitty little closets and walkouts. I think, cool. I think they shot a gold face money watch video there, didn't they? Yep. And that was the master. Suite. Is that guy still around? No. <laughs> he's just not. <laughs> Is he working? Who's he's, that? He's not around. Oh. Gold face money watch? <laughs> He's not around anymore. <laughs>